we did it. No pumpkin left behind. We got one. It's always a good thrifting day when we find a pumpkin. This jacket's really cool. Very cool. Nice Patagonia shirt. Everything is a dollar, so that's a steal. Found this Christian Dior scarf, which I think could resell for $15 or so. Mm, Everything's nice. a dollar. Bum. I don't know what that is. And then we got that vintage jacket, Patagonia. So that was a little surprise uh, garage sale stop. That's fun. A ton of new Christmas stuff. Um, they had stuff in the garage, but they weren't bringing it out yet. But we did grab some clothing, uh, mainly for reselling, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show you guys what we got. This location we're in is in Danbury, Connecticut. I believe we are going to head in and see what we can find. We usually do our best pickings and finds at Unique's first store in New Jersey, but hey, we're gonna give it a chance. We're gonna see what we can find. Let's go. Janine just pulled out this really cool, easy tracer. Isn't it cool? It's really cool. What, 1974 you said? Yeah, it says it right on the back. It says down here, made in USA, 1974. Wow, I don't know what it made you, I guess it helped you place, uh, I mean trace. Yeah, drawings. Somehow. It's pretty cool. This is cute little um Jack. Jack and is it called Jacks? I guess it's just called Jacks made in Taiwan. I love that packaging. It's cute. It's probably newer. I mean maybe from the 80s, but really cute. And it's a dollar ninety-nine. Got a very, very, very faded gooseberry. I can't even tell what color that used to be. Maybe black. Four dollars. Don't know why it's four dollars. I think these are somewhat collectible. The tiles painted with fruits on them. This one's really nice. I just don't know too much about them. If you guys know, leave us a comment. This Goodwill has a little bin of tablecloths and um, wrapping paper that I like to look through. You never know what you can find. Usually don't find much, but you never know. You never know. Onion? Onion seeds? I don't know. Love these pots. Pricey though. $6.08. Little too expensive for me. Got a lot of different shot glasses here at the thrift store today. Queen Mary, Connecticut, Canada 76, Roadside America. Lake George. We have TV guides from, what is this, the 90s? This is 1995, July 15th. It's wow. like right around now. But oh yeah. Back in 1995. Yep. So, uh, let's see what was on. Ooh, that's a little scary. Um. Muppet Babies. Uh, Muppet Babies. American Gladiators. Wow. I wonder if that was a new episode. Who's on the front? The front, Star Trek and the X-Files. It's a bunch of McDonald's Beanie Babies. A bunch of butterflies. How do you get so many of these? Little jellyfish? Guys, we found our first pumpkin of the weekend. This is an older one. Even though it doesn't have those rivets that we talk about a lot, it is a thicker plastic, so likely from the 80s or 90s. What? What are you doing? You know what we say? You know what we say here at Shiny Bright Doggo? No pumpkin left behind, right? That's right, that's right. He's only a dollar and he's a bit older. I was thinking, what, 80s or 90s? You have to tap it, you have to talk to the pumpkin. Tell me what you know. <laughs> What year are you born? <laughs> 80s, right? 
Yeah, yeah, 90s. 80s and 90s. We are outside a very interesting estate sale, very beautiful house. Not expecting to find much vintage things in here, but we're gonna give it a check. Um, we just happened upon it and um, maybe we'll find something. Never know, let's go in. Yeah, it does look like it. it's in a pile of trash. You just dug all these out? A couple of them, the rest of them over there. Hey, Trine. Hi. Hi. You found a few things, yeah? Yep. I found a Walkman. Sony Walkman Sport one. So it locks up here. Looks pretty clean. I don't know if it works, but if it's working, then this is about like $50 on eBay. I'll do a, you know, a, I'll check to make sure, but from what I could gather, $50? Wow. $50. Sorry, there's like a helicopter. Um... That sounds like a good deal. And you got this really cute owl. Yes. Look at I his was, eyes. I was gifted this owl. Yeah, my mother's with us and she uh, she let you have it. Look at this napco wear owl. Really cool. It's more like a paper mache. It's not ceramic, but it's a little bank, right? Yeah. Really cool. It's adorable. See his little eyes shine? Yeah. And he was like a dollar and the radio was $2. Mm -hmm. And then you also found this hat which yep. we looked up on eBay and is worth about $20. It's a Texaco yep, tex baseball cap. That is great. And then did you find one other thing? Yeah. Oh, you got your little book. Got my little tree book. Really cute. The tree key. Fun illustration. So we paid about $5 in total. All right, guys, we're back with the rest of the haul. We got this giant bag of clothing that we're going to dive into at that first garage sale for only $10. Let's take a look. Love this vintage ski jacket. This is probably from the 80s, early 90s. Just love this colorway. And we'll throw this up on eBay. Let it sit for a while if it has to. Paid a dollar. Janine, you got this Patagonia sweat jacket. It's in great condition. Mm -hmm. Again, only a dollar. Really nice and will likely resell very nicely on eBay. Yeah, it's a nice half zip sweatshirt. And it's in a really nice, like olive green color. I picked up this Christian Dior, uh, what is this thing called? A scarf, um, because of the brand name, right? It's 100% cashmere, really nice. There are some that go for hundreds of dollars, but this one sells probably for $15 or so. I figured since I paid a dollar, it wouldn't be a bad thing to flip. Another brand name, Janine, you grab these Columbia athletic shorts. Yep, I thought they would probably sell pretty easily right now on eBay. And they're Columbia, which is a good brand. A nice classic Gap baseball cap. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or uh, resell it. I didn't check online, but I figure I could probably get like $10 for it. And since I actually think she kind of threw in the hats. For free? For free. So nice. pretty good deal. Janine, you found these really nice Patagonia shorts. Yep. That's a good brand to look out for. They resell pretty easily. And again, it's in the middle of the summer, so these will be flipped pretty fast. And then in the middle of summer, ironically, we picked up a bunch of gloves. Um, I'll talk about the pair that I picked out because I'm just gonna drop these. <laughs> I thought these were so cool. Yeah, they almost look like boxing gloves. <laughs> They're just like something out of like a video game to me. Probably from the 1980s if I had to guess. Really cool. If I skied, I would definitely wear these. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to flip these. You look like a superhero. I would. Um, there is some wear on the leather on the inside here. But, you know, there are some ski suits on eBay right now from the same company that are, are selling for a couple of hundred dollars. So wow. I'm hoping I could, you know, get something off of these since they're only a dollar. <laughs> these yeah. are also cool. I feel like a Power Ranger in these. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, they're, um, I picked them up for myself to use in the winter. I figure, you know, they were a dollar. Why not? They're very thick and uh, they're called hot fingers, so I hopefully they'll keep my hands warm. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked these up because they are like military mittens. Um, they're in great condition. So I figured, that, again, it was a dollar. It was so cheap. I definitely could get probably 10 to $15 on these. Whoa, I was way off on how much I thought those gloves were worth. That was a great pickup for just a dollar. You know, it's a successful weekend when we find a pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Um, this... Look at this cute little face. He's so cute. <laughs> He's that thicker plastic, mm -hmm. no rivets, but probably from the 80s. He's going to go in the... 90s. 90s? Okay. 80s, 90s. Still uh, vintage. Yeah. 
and he's gonna go in the giant pumpkin pail pile that we have the growing. Great <laughs> pumpkin sale. For our great pumpkin pail sale. <laughs> Coming <laughs> Oh boy, maybe in August, maybe in early September, we'll have to say. And speaking of pumpkins, um, made this cute little quick prototype. We're working on it. I don't know if you guys would be interested. Um, I'm interested. I, so, I'm going to wear it yeah, regardless. We're, we're going to wear these regardless. <laughs> I think they're really cute. It's going to be orange, and we have to work on a little bit of the quality and um, some of the lettering, but um, it's cute, and we love a good pumpkin. You know mm -hmm. what we say here, no, no pumpkin, pumpkin left, left behind. behind. Janine also picked up some stuff from the thrift store. Yes, I picked up this little dog, Build-A-Bear. I think he's really cute with these little floppy ears. Kind of remind me of Olive. <laughs> and um, I don't know why he's wearing this little vest, but it's a little life jacket. I didn't even realize he was a Build-A-Bear. Yeah, he's a Build-A-Bear. I think he's an older one. And those like resell. But he looks like an older Build-A-Bear. A lot of the Build-A-Bears now, they have a, a patch on their paw or their foot that says like Build-A-Bear. Um, they have embroidered eyes. Mm. So. I keep an eye out for the ones that have most likely been discontinued because they might be a little more profitable. This one, he's not that much money, but he goes for like 10 to 15 plus shipping. So for $2.99, I thought that was a good deal. So I picked up this Ping golf hat. This was only $2.49 and it looks practically brand new. So I think it was a great find because this can probably sell for about $20. Wow. And uh, yeah, a great brand to look out for to resell. I was so excited to find. These are Lego Bionicle instruction set, or whatever you call Legos. They used to make these back in like the, I don't know if it was the late 90s, but the early 2000s. They were, I don't know if they're supposed to be aliens, but they don't make them anymore. So that's what to look out for here. These can go for a lot of money. Some over $1,000. $1,000? Yes. So I'll put a screenshot here of some of the prices of these Bionicle um, <laughs> say. sets. Of these babies. <laughs> put some of these babies up there. Um, yeah, so, we have so, so the, and these have never been opened. They were $1.99 and $2.99. Makes no I sense. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, I didn't even look them up on eBay or anything. I just you grabbed, knew I grabbed them because I knew that these would be a good pickup. How? Um, because they're Bionicle. I but just, how did you know? You just know? I just know. How? Because yeah. uh, I look at Legos and stuff. Oh, okay, know. yeah, I guess you know about yeah. Legos. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, cool. That's amazing. Are yeah, ours so, worth a thousand dollars? So no. Okay. <laughs> this one is worth maybe about fifty. Wow. Which is still great. And this one's worth about seventy-five. Nice. So, a dollar ninety-nine and two ninety-nine for these two Bionicle sets. You're making like a hundred and ten dollars. That's awesome. Hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, hundred and ten dollars. I that's... mean, don't quote me on that. Was my quick math, but still, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it's crazy. So look out for Bionicles because even also the just the figures themselves. Maybe you go to an estate sale or a, or a yard sale and they have them already made. Those can go for a couple hundred dollars as well. Wow. So pretty cool to find these. Well, we had a fun time. Hope you guys did too. And if you enjoy thrifting and vintage, like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.